Hey guys, it's Megan from the Butter Bean Shop. Welcome back, or welcome if you, this is your first time here, to uh, the making of a cold process. So today I am making a um, Amazing Grace by Philosophy. Yep. Type. <laughs> and it smells very very good um i'm actually making this in collaboration with deborah at body garbage so we had a collaboration and what it was was um we had to use the color pink because it's both of our favorite colors and we had to do piping and we also had to use candy either real candy or soap that looks like candy so Mommy, I what i've was, done i thought you were about to say like fake candy or something you can use fake candy like wait what I okay okay well sailor wants to say something and then she's going to go into the other room go ahead welcome back guys it's me i first lost my seventh tooth oh you turned six and I lost my seventh tooth. And you but, and you lost your seventh tooth. Yeah, like when did I lose up? Probably like this week. Oh yeah, that that this week. Okay, bye Sayla. Bye. So um I piped these roses and these are gonna go on the top. Um and I also am going to do some other piping. I might pipe some leaves. I'm not sure. So that satisfies the requirements of the piping. So I'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to use three, well, four colors, including the titanium dioxide. I'm going to use Ballet Slippers by Mad Micas. I'm going to use Atomic Orange by Nurture Soap. And I do have a big one of these, but I also have a um, sample size that they sent. And I have Taxi Cab by Mad Micas. And you know what, you guys? Mad Micas is becoming one of my favorite um, vendors for um, Micas. I swear that the color saturation is just so vivid. And a little goes a long, long way. So I'll go ahead and get started. In here I have my oils that have been melted down. They're at room temperature now. And I have some colloidal oatmeal and I have some white kale and clay. So I will mix that all up, make sure that there's no um, powdery bits left in there. Then I'll add my coconut milk and my goat milk. And then I'll add my lye solution and bring it up to emulsion. My lye solution is Tessa Silk, Sodium Lactate, and Aloe. Okay, so I'll go ahead and get started right now. guys I have brought this up to emulsion I do not want I mean it's just barely at emulsion I don't want to over blend this because as you guys know if you've watched me before I always um, blend in my colorants um, and I I also have never soaked with this fragrance before and you know what I love be scented I love um, Jen I think she's wonderful and I think that that she um, picks products um who that you know soapers love to work with because i rarely get a fragrance from her or from be scented that doesn't play well i mean i'm sure they're out there and i haven't tried every single fragrance that she has but i've been very happy so far and this fragrance smells great it's very florally but it's also fresh mm, yeah it's fresh it smells like a bouquet of flowers mixed with a fresh laundered shirt. 
um, while you are drinking some freshly squeezed juice. <laughs> that makes sense. But I'm not going to pour this in yet. I'm going to split this off. And you know what I, I am thinking? Since I am going to use some for piping, I'm going to pipe just a little bit. I'm going to pour some off just for that purpose. So um, this much I'm going to um, keep out for piping and I don't need a ton of piping. I just need a little bit. So that's perfect. And I'll go ahead and pour off my colors now. The base will be white. Um, and Oh, I poured a little bit too much on that one. It's okay. Okay, I think that's good. I think that's good. Okay. I can't wait to see what Deborah is going to do with this collaboration. If you guys haven't checked her out yet, um, she has a YouTube channel. It's uh, Body Garbage, and she makes cute stuff. Um, she makes some beautiful soaps. Um, so go ahead and check her out. Um, yeah, go ahead and check her out. So um, in this container, I will add the titanium dioxide and it's just pre-mixed with um, distilled water and in these containers I will add my pre-mixed micas so there's the yellow and here is the pink, and here is the orange, okay. So I think I have satisfied my requirements as far as the pink is concerned for the challenge and the piping because I did pipe the roses. And I did want to film it, however, and I did film it. But when I played back the film, it was all out of frame. And I don't have a viewer on my camera. I use a Nikon D3200. And I've had it for a while. I've had the um, camera since before I started filming. So I usually use this camera for our product photos and then, you know, for family stuff on vacation and stuff like that. So I haven't, I don't have a camera dedicated to to YouTube, YouTubing and it, when I do get one it will have a, a viewer on there so I can make sure I stay in, in frame when I do stuff. Mm -hmm. this pink oh it's so pretty okay so I have thoroughly mixed up um, my colors I'll go ahead and add the fragrance said we'll find out how this works together because I don't I haven't soaked with it before 
Okay. Trying to see if there's any ricing in here. There is a little bit of ricing. So I'm going to go ahead and get my stick blender and blend out some of this ricing. up trace so it does accelerate and it does rice a little bit at least in my um, recipe so now that I know I will prepare myself for the next the next time I use it but it blends right out so I was going to do a hanger swirl but now I think I'm gonna do it in the pot swirl because I just want to make sure I get it in the mold before it um, really gets um, out of control. So I'm going to do it in the pot swirl with this. Okay. really accelerating but that's okay it's all gonna work out I just want to be able to get this in the mold and all will be well I'm glad I didn't put the fragrance in the um, in the piping would have been a little bit upset about that although it would have sped up the time in which I would be able to pipe okay so I'm working fast I'm just going to do a little bit of a swirl here and then I will get my workshop heritage mold I love this mold. <sighs> okay. And we will pour in our soap. I think I'm going to love it though. So I was going to do a hanger swirl, but I think I'll probably like this in the pot even more. to let this sit actually you know what no I'm not I'm gonna put my roses on here
So this is what it looks like so far. <clears throat> Excuse me. I still have to um, make my piping, my other piping that I'm going to do. I still have to make that. So I will get started on putting that together right now. But so far I like how it looks. So I will, so here, here it is right now. So I'll move that over to the side. Done with this. Um, so here is my, you know what, I'll use, okay guys, so now I'm doing the piping, so I'll, I'm going to do the piping in my three colors again. Okay, so. I went ahead and mixed this up and I'm going to go ahead in the in the cups that I was using for the um, micas. I'm going to pour in my soap batter and mix it up and in this one I will do okay I think I split it up without having too much left over okay So I have a little bit left over, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. So I'll go ahead and mix this up. And I've pre-mixed my micas, so I don't think that I will have to stick blend these anymore. And that's the good thing about um, pre-dispersing your micas in oil. You don't have to worry about having any powdery bits in there. You just have to mix it really well. So see there, the yellow. do is just wait until these um, I'll wait until they get capable and then I'll bring you back okay oh my gosh you guys I think you totally missed my piping I am so sorry about that so sorry I apologize let me give you a close-up of the soap um, I am so sorry, but here is Whimsical Rose. Um, yeah, so this is, I have finished putting the flowers on and piping the little, I don't know what to call those things, dollops <laughs> of, um, soap. And then I put the little candy pieces on top, so it satisfies my requirement for candy so Deborah at Barty Garbage I hope that you like this soap I will send you a bar of it but again you guys I am so sorry that I did not capture that piping I thought my camera was recording and it was not when I came back for the close-up it was 
black the screen was so it did not record any of that and I apologize so um yeah so sorry I will bring you back in just a few minutes for the cut Hey guys, Megan here from the Butterbean Shop. I am here to cut my Whimsical Rose Soap that I made yesterday with Amazing Grace Fragrance Oil. And I am so freaking happy with how this turned out. I don't know if you guys can get a really good peek at the top of this soap, but it smells beautiful and the top is just fabulous i'm excited to cut it um i already split the loaf which was really hard for me to do because it was so pretty i did take some um pictures though so um yeah i have some photos um i had to do it in the pot swirl with this because the um fragrance oil accelerated on me it riced and then it accelerated but that's fine I'm sure that it'll be um, beautiful on the inside. I did like the way it poured. And a lot of times when you have kind of thicker fragrance oils, when you do it in the pot swirl, it um, comes out really pretty. The, the um, colors come out really pronounced. So here goes the first cut. I like it. I hope everyone's having a fabulous day. It's early today on Sunday. And I just wanted to get this cut before I went on with my whole, you know, uh, daily chores that I have to do. Like, I have to go grocery shopping for the next week. Um, that kind of stuff. So, um, if I didn't tell you before, first of all, I noticed that when I was going to pipe the soap that it wasn't recording. So, I really apologize for that. That was the whole point for you guys to see the piping. And I, I'm sorry. Um, this soap was made in collaboration with um, Deborah from Barty Garbage. So, um, hi Deborah. I hope you like it. Um, yeah, so I'll go ahead and continue to cut. I uh, hope you guys enjoy your day. If you've liked what you've seen here, minus the piping, I'm sorry. Um, please go ahead and click the like button. Um, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe, and if you want to be notified of when I post, uh, go ahead and click the bell. It'll let you know when I post new content. So until next time, folks, uh, take care. Mm -hmm.